everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to create a look using the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. My video swatch video that I created, I had an overwhelming amount of requests to go ahead and do a look featuring the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. And the look that I have decided to create for you guys today is this purple and pink look. Originally, I wanted to go for a Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter inspired look, but then I was actually inspired by the Chester, I hope I'm saying that right, Chester Cat from the original Alice in Wonderland movie. I really wanted to create the looks because I just felt like the purples and the pinks just go together so well and that would be a cute look. Hopefully I'll get more videos up using the Alice palette, more going into the blue colors because I really, really like those blue colors. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Also remember that this is the first video that I will have my Google link down below. So if you guys want to suggest any videos, go ahead and click that link and type out a little message and let me know what you want to see and then I'll go ahead and make sure that I have, uh, I schedule it for you guys. Without further ado, if you guys want to see how I got this Chester cat inspired look, then keep on watching. All of the products will be listed in the down bar down below and also... I'm going to be starting my blog, so all of the information about the eyeshadows will be listed in the blog down below for you guys. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I will see everybody next week, and yes, bye! Alright, since today's look is going to be pretty complicated, I'm just going to be showing you my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the color Boots from the ColourPop gel liners and I'm going to go ahead and create my own crease because I do have hooded eyes and I want my eyes to appear larger. Then taking cake from the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, I'm going to go ahead and get that blended out. Now this step is totally optional but I'm taking Savage from the Electric palette and I'm just bright brightening up the pink just a little bit. And then taking the color Piggy Bank from ColourPop as well, which is another gel liner, I am going to go ahead and create a line under that initial pink. This is going to help with me in the placement of my other colors. I am then taking Jilted and I'm deepening up my crease a little bit more just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. So it's okay if your line isn't neat because we're going to take Piggy Bank again and we're going to create a halo effect on our eyes. I found that doing this made my line look a little bit neater and it was easier to blend out as well. So I'm just taking a smudger, smudger brush and I'm blending that out so that way when I put uh, Jilted or Urban on my eyes from the electric palette, it blends seamlessly. So then going in with Gone Mad, which is a deeper purple, I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the outer corners and inner corners of my eyes to give it a little bit more of a dimension and a darker purple look. So in the middle, I'm just putting Jilted again, but if you don't have the electric palette, you can just go in with Cake and I'm going to make that the lighter part in my halo. And then I'm taking Savage again and I'm brightening it up a little bit so it's more pink than it is purple. So after I get that done, I'm taking my micellar water and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my face a little bit um, so that way everything is looking neat and it gives me a guideline for my gel liner to go onto, which I'm doing right now.
So like I said, in the interest of saving time, I went ahead and did my base makeup off of camera. And now I'm gonna go in with Boots again, that gel liner, and I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline and my bottom lash line, just so my colors can be a little bit more bold. Then going back to the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, I'm going to take Cake and smudge out my lower lash line as well. I'm pretty sure I didn't take a clip of this next one, but I am using the color Urban to deepen out the outer V and then the inner corner of my lower lash line. So then now for the fun part, I'm going to take some lashes. This is the Curvy from Ardell, and I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Because this look is so bold, I find that I do need lashes to make it all tied together. And I'm just using some clear adhesive to get that stuck on. And to help blend my natural lashes with the falsies, I'm taking some mascara and I'm just applying it to the base of my lashes. I really, really love these lashes. I think they just look so beautiful and gorgeous on me. Feeling myself. <laughs> So then taking my favorite liquid lipstick from ColourPop in the color Guess, I'm going to go ahead and get my lips on. <laughs> find that this color really complements the purples and the pinks so well, and it's not overpowering the eye look that I have today. Then taking some bronzer, or excuse me, a highlighter from Soap and Glory, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and the inner corners of my eyelids. And guys, that is today's look. I feel like it was a little rushed, but I love how the video came out and I love the looks and how bold and bright it is in person. Thank you so much for watching and I will see everybody next week. <laughs> Bye.